So what we had to do is take a cab, and they dropped us off on the other side of this building, and a porter carried our bags over the bridge, walked it all the way up here to the St. Lucia train station where there's a ton of trains. And obviously there's no cars in through here or anything, so the cabs can't get up in here. If you look right here, we're right by more gondolas and churches and Leonardo da Vinci signs and another church, always under renovation. I'm going to be in the renovation business. We're at the St. Lucia train station that. here. We got regular trains, then we got high speed trains. Here we got a high speed train coming in. Um, park. The trains just keep coming and going. Here's people coming so off of this one. the Venice train station here, right on schedule. I'll have to say they're quite punctual. We're going to go across the picture over here. Right. There is our cruise ship. So we've left it behind. Picking up speed here. I want to get a shot of this. And we're just going through the countryside. And we're not sure how fast we're going because we didn't think this was supposed to be the high speed train, but we're probably moving at least about 100. We're clipping right along. We're slowed down a little bit, riding next to a major highway here. And we'll see what probably goes to Milan as well. Milan train station at 225, right on schedule. Billy and Troy are trying not to laugh and be the idiots. Train train stations, and now we've just left the train yard heading for Paris, Paris. So we're driving along here on the border. It's about six o'clock, it's gonna get dark. Got a monastery up on the top of the mountain here. So we're heading into France. Definitely going through some mountains now.